see every opportunity for what it is. It's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to expand your repertoire, your skills. See that you don't necessarily know it all and so chase what you don't know. And, and I think you'll find that industries provide um, a, a good solid base for development. I would recommend that people talk to as many people as possible to understand the industry they want to work in, the work environment that they're best in, and what they're really interested in the HR field. You can be an HR generalist where you um, can put, have your fingers in many different pies a, a, across a range of HR facets, um, or you can be quite an expert in your field. So understanding and being able to talk to people and gain their experiences I think is critical so then you can make sure that you take the first right step. Um, once you've got that right, first right step in place, it um, is really getting in there, rolling up the sleeves and, and making it happen. It's taking those various different opportunities, um, trying different things out, um, learning from those and then planning the next step from there. It's very much an iterative process. If you're starting your career in HR, uh, mapping it is a good idea, um, but I would say don't be too prescriptive. Uh, if you have a very well thought out plan over the next 10 or 15 years, I can almost guarantee you that you won't follow that plan. And I say that because business is changing so quickly and the world of HR is changing quickly and the skills required in HR are rapidly changing as well. So I would look out for a, a two, three year horizon um, I think early on, look to get a really broad base in your experience. Um, make sure you get some really solid generalist experience um, before you specialise. But don't be afraid of specialising a little bit later in your career because I think that gives you um, a distinct advantage uh, when you sit around a leadership table or in a more senior role.